Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 7th, and today was an absolutely beautiful day outside. Nice, a little bit of wind blowing here and there, a beautiful sunny day, got plenty hot, I'd say I got in the mid 80s maybe, even the high 80s, didn't look that close. I know the one time I did actually look, it was 82 I believe, and it cooled down I think at that point, so... We had a weird little storm come through, I don't know, around 2, 2.30, something like that this morning. It was enough that it scared the hell out of my dog, woke him up, he freaked out. And then he had to go outside, ironically, in the rain. So he came back in, a little bit damp. Luckily it wasn't raining hard, so it wasn't too bad. Um, by the time I got up, actually, to get something done today, the rain had stopped. There's still some wet spots here and there, but it dried out really quick. We didn't get much rain at all, so I still had to water my um, new plants, some trees, that kind of stuff. I gave them a good little heavy watering. Also, um, had a handful of things to go get done today. Got that running done. But before all that, I ended up decided to put my storm door on the um, back of the house here. And basically, it was a screwed up mess. The door I'd bought from like a discount closeout um, reject store, whatever you want to call it, um, that was absolutely just a pain in the butt. That door was a little bit too small about an inch and a quarter to small width wise to put the storm door on and instead of trying to mess with it I just let screw it I'm gonna go ahead and just I make it fit so I took got my router out had to do some routing had to do some hand chiseling had to do some custom work so on and so forth got that all wrapped up went to put it together and found out the door frame itself on the new door is also not thick enough front to back and the damn storm door doesn't close with the inside door now. It's a whole big pain in the ass. So I got to figure out what I'm doing with it exactly. I don't really know yet what I'm going to do to how to solve that completely. I'm hoping to find a shorter handle that's not going to stick out from the door quite so much that so won't hit the other storm door. If that doesn't work, if I can't find a hang better for that, I'm going to go ahead and try and do some custom work on the metal part of the handle. I'll do some grinding, do some cutting, do maybe have to do some welding to make it a shorter handle. But I'm going to try and get that figured out and get that working um, so it'll seal up nice and tight. So it does me no good to have a storm door on there if it pushes out a quarter inch or eighth inch, probably about an eighth inch, and breaks that seal the whole time. It's absolutely stupid in the process. So at least for now, it's, um, it's in there. It's ready to go. And when I have the door open, the outside storm door seals tight. So I do have a storm door now that I can the window open to get better airflow through here. So at least that part is good. Just unfortunately, it doesn't seal up when the door is closed together at the same time. So hopefully, um, if I don't find something this weekend for a new handle for that, next week sometime, I'll go ahead and start doing the custom work on the handle that's on it to try and make it fit. It'll not be quite as attractive, which I understand, but it's just a back door. Nobody really sees it. It's not that big a deal. So definitely... Um, I, I decided the last time I ever shopped at that discount place for anything like that again. Uh, if I got on there for like a chunk of molding or something like that, it'd be a whole different thing, but not. I didn't save enough money to justify having to deal with the scuffed up, banged up door that I felt was even there. By the time I'd had all the extra work in here and stuff and the hassle factor, I definitely did not save enough money. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, other than that, not really a lot going on today. I did get my run in. I ended up running a little over three miles today. It was crazy hot out, so like I said, it was in the 80s. Um, first, real, uh, I'd say third really hot day. Um, first hot day in a long time. Took the dog out with me, of course. Him being black, he overheats quickly. Um, so I only did three miles, which wasn't too bad, but it was still just super warm. It was the heat of the day. I really got my butt kicked with it. And from there, I haven't put the air conditioner in the house. I just have window air conditioners. Um, I did bring them home from the storage, from the warehouse. I just haven't got them installed yet. Um, it's not cooling off as quick as I'd hoped tonight, so I'm still sitting around. It's a little bit sticky, but I've got a couple fans in the windows, really drawing some air through the house. So, hoping that'll help. But if not, I know it's just one night. I'll throw the air conditioners in tomorrow, and I'll be up and ready to go. Although it's supposed to cool off tomorrow um, evening, a lot better than it did tonight. So I probably won't have them on, but I want to at least get them installed. That way, I'll get to flip a switch when it comes time, instead of the hassle factor of trying to figure out how long it's going to take me to get them installed. So. That's pretty much the whole thing. I did get myself a little sunburn at the back of my head. My arms a little burnt, neck, my face a little bit red. From being outside on the back porch, there's no, where I put those doors in, there's no overhang, there's no shade, there's no nothing. So I kind of did get a little bit cooked there, but happens and I went running outside for half an hour, so that didn't help either. So anyway, that's all I've got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.